Hello, and welcome to this video about Elite Dangerous. So, the game has been recently available for free, at least for a few days on the Epic Store, so I figured out a lot of new players are gonna come in. And a good refresh on the starter video could be a good thing, especially there have been a lot of change on the starting area since a long time ago in this game. Alright, before we start, I suggest you to go to the option, to the option Control, and ch take a look at the flight truss here. Uh, what I suggest to do is assign a key that of your preference that is easy to reach to control your vertical thrust. So thrust up and thrust down. For me, I have R and F. You don't have to use this key. So what you prefer to use. And also here, thrust left and thrust right. These are less important, this is the most important. But still, I suggest you do both. Alright, and also, is it flight rotation? Well, in flight rotations can be good here. You roll axis, you have the key to roll your ship around in space. For me, I use A and D to roll left and to roll right. And also the mouse control, if, especially if you're playing with the mouse and keyboard like I do. Uh, check the setting. Do for setting here. Put them like that. If you don't like it, you can always change it later. So that's what I'm using right now. All right. Now that we're, we're good with that, cancel back to menu, and we're gonna start. So the game is gonna start you directly into the training session. I'm just gonna pause it here. That training session, you should do it before continuing uh, watching the video. And I expect you to do it because a very important formation for the basic of how to fly, get out of the station, uh, jump from a system to another, all stuff like that they're gonna explain to you. Of course, you're not, you're not, gonna, be, you're not gonna be a master of these things, but at least you're not gonna be confused when, gonna, when we're gonna jump around, because I'm gonna ex explain to you a bit what I'm doing to jump around and everything, but it's not gonna be as good as doing it yourself with the in-game training. So for me, I'm gonna skip the training. And as I told you, you should not be doing that, because they're right when they say that. These baby lessons are highly recommended for new players, and they're not joking around. Yes for me. Alright, uh, when the training is over, you're going to be asked to create your, char your character, kind of like an MMO, your name, and you can change, and uh, you, change, you change, select your type of character. Later on, you can modify how your character looks like, but for, for creating the character, it's not important. For me, at least. Okay. You have a choice of two ships. It doesn't really matter, actually. They're both almost the same ship. They're both the same ship, but the Horizon Sign Wonder, I guess you should pick that one because it has a little bit extra uh, equipment on it. So with this one, you can actually go land on a planet and pull out a, a vehicle to roll around. So for what we're going to do, I mean, the game's not going to be that useful, but at least you're going to have that equipment. So. Whatever you pick is fine. So I'm just gonna go with the Horizon Sidewinder. Alright, so now you have uh, your ship uh, model type, you have the Sidewinder and information about speed, blah blah blah. Well, for now, well, these are like usually very important information when you select the ship, but since it's your first ship and you have nothing to compare to, you should not really care for that right now. So continue. Ship name, ID plate, not needed, it's most likely for the players to see your ship having a different name and just more customization. It's optional, so for the tutorial here I'm gonna continue, blah blah blah, pilot license, perfect, confirm, let's start into the real game. Alright, <clears throat> there we go. So basically, in this game, what you want to do is to make money 
get the ship you want and technically you're free to do whatever you want in the game. But to do whatever you want in the game, one thing you'll need to do is money. Because when you start the game, uh, let's go to starport service here. Um, you have a balance of 1000 credit, which is actually, well, it's basically nothing. So, to do money, well, the first reactor of people will most likely be to, uh, if I call button 1 here, transaction. Well, that's actually not too bad. Now they give you a mission uh, to uh, earn some money. So, that's perfect. When you start the game now, they, they give you a mission to get 10,000 credit. Which is nice. So, let's do that together then. So to see that the mission they gave you automatically, you press the button 1 to call to your left panel and then I navigate to a transaction. The mission will come to the galaxy. Okay, collect blah, 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 administration, plot a route and hyperspace jump to the star system Dromi. So the, the easiest way to find that system, down here you have open galaxy map. So when in Dromi, travel and dock at the Mars and dock to collect your reward so open galaxy map there you go you see you have a blue marker indicating there's a mission here which is our mission and right there what we're gonna do a star map you have a few options so that system here is clearly selected star map so as you see there's a blue marker on the mouse and dock that's where we're gonna go all right, uh, so which one you should select is, it's not the select, it's the plot route. So it's gonna, for you, plot a route for hyperspace. You probably saw that in your training, we're just going over it again for you. Exit. And now, if you go to navigation, you can call the galaxy map again right there and now your route has been plot for you before we go I'm just gonna do a little thing you don't have to do this but it could be a good thing for you to train uh, I'm gonna explain to you what I'm the optional internal in my ship outfitting the ship outfitting is where you can equip your ship with new weapon but for now we're not gonna do that what I'm gonna do is uh, there's two modules here, Super Cruise Assist and Advanced Docking. I'm gonna remove that, actually I'm gonna sell them while I'm gaining nothing. So basically these things gonna help you like, uh, like in the tutorial when you duck out of the station when you start. Uh, it's do it for you because you have the module for the auto docking. But eventually you're gonna notice that these things take valu valuable place. In your, in your ship for module for the module you can use and uh, I suggest the first thing you should do is get used to the game without having any of these because well more more room in your ship for better equipment is going to be useful but if you want to make it easier you can just keep those two modules but I'm gonna show you how to take off without having any of these modules it's actually pretty simple all right, so let's get to that system and get our 10k credit launch. And that, that's where we're gonna use the vertical thruster keys we set up in the control. Okay. Now my ship is released, I have some control with my mouse, as you see moving my mouse around. Well, I just hit the bottom of the landing pad, it's not a big deal. So my key is R to go up, so I'm using my, my uh, thrusters to go to uh, the up direction. You see I'm just going up, pretty simple. I'm about to align with the uh, opening of the station, and now I can actually use my rolling button, which I put to D, just to align myself properly. Remove my landing gear, and then go forward. See, taking off it's not very hard. 
and also way faster than waiting for the thing to do it automatically. Alright, we're out of the station. So if you remember how to jump, you see down there there's a, the mic sensor. I can see ship around with, with yellow dots and, and uh, white dots. To the right of it, you see the 30%, the top, I mean, sorry, to the top left, you see 36% with my heat level. And then to the right of it, there's like a little compass, like a little circle with a, a, with a dot inside of it. That right now is hollow, and now it's full. So basically, I'm going to add to that dot. I'm turning around, the dot is aligned to the cross, and you see, it's in my vision right now. The dromi which is the system we need to go so when we plot the route now we have the target available with the compass well basically we're aligning I'm at full speed and then pressing my key to go to hyperspace jump all of this you should already kind of know through the training so that's why it's important There we go. So I'm gonna do the full flying over there for the first time without any cut in the video with you guys. Alright, so be sure to move around your ship fast. And as you see, you have your target here the, the Mawson Dock, which is your last destination. And I'm reducing my speed. You see, there's like a huge blue marker. See, I, I'm, um, I'm moving my throttle up and down, and my my uh, the little uh, marker is turning blue when it's the blue zone. So I'm putting my speed around the blue zone. And that should help me to come in at a very good speed without uh, overshotting my target. So right now the ETA is 6 seconds, or 5. I'm going to slow down a little bit. You see, just make it to 6 seconds, and you should be gold. Not flying to uh, a destination and not uh, missing the target, that's going to take some practice. But the, the main point is, you go full speed and when you kind of get closer, you just go to the blue zone. Okay, now I should have uh, yep the display pop up uh, to disengage. Disengage, and it should make me directly at the station. Here we go. All right, the entrance, the station. To find it first. Like, at first it's not going to be obvious. For now I, I know it's on where I'm pointing right now. But if you probably notice the way the station is rotating, it's like uh, it's like rotating on itself. So the entrance is going to be on either the left side or the right side. So it's clearly on the, on the left side because you don't see the entrance from that view and you're going to see we're not very apparent, but you're gonna see some red blinking light and uh, saying that's the back of the station. So let's just go to the front of the station. You can boost if you want to go faster. Okay, so I'm gonna do their docking request, a contact, I'm awesome dock, docking request. Remember, I don't have the auto docking, so we're gonna do this, this all manually. And if you did also remove uh, the module like you, like I did, well, 
just be careful as I am. Alright. I'm getting close to the door. I'm gonna slow down. Usually I do that way faster, but for you guys, let's make it simpler. I'm gonna slow down. So remember we have a vertical thruster. So I'm gonna use my vertical thruster to align myself. There we go. And the station is rotating, so I need to rotate my ship with the station. There we go. Pad 37. Proceed to landing pad 37, and landing pad 37 is right there. Alright. Getting out my landing gear. There's a ship over there, so I'm going to be careful. Remember, you're going manually. You're not waiting in queue or whatever, so you need to be careful to not hit any ship. So my landing pad is right here, proceeding to landing pad 37, and I'm going to go down. See, I overshot it a bit. So when you're getting close to the pad, you should see that little design down there. So basically, the fun, that's the hard part when you're going to start to align your ship. I'm going to go up a bit to make it easier. Going my ship a bit back, like that. So my ship is pointing into the middle of the target circle. So I'm going to use my lat my uh, horizontal thrusters, which is uh, Q and E, to move my ship like that. So you see now the importance of having control of your lateral thruster and vertical thruster. You can do some uh, maneuvering like that. So my ship should be pretty much uh, horizontal with the, the landing pad. So I'm going to go and uh, my landing gear are out. I put them out. I'm gonna press my key F to go down, like this. You see my staying right in the middle, touch down, and we are landed. So basically, that's how you land. Uh, refuel, yes we are. Starport services. Now the mission. You have the mission board, and you even have a little exclamation point to tell you there's something for you there. There we go, there's already that guy here, and we have the welcome to the galaxy map completed mission. And free money. There we go. Alright, so that's it. Uh, what we're gonna do now is to make money. So, how to make money? Well, as you know, you can go to the mission board. That guy here giving you Corey mission. Example, those carry missions are very easy. But I mean it's not a lot of money. Example, that mission Corey available job. Deliver data to Dromi Prospect in this well this is pretty good because you're already in that system. So if you go to that place here, it's gonna give you well, like more than double the money you just made. You see, you have a lot of mission like that. So, actually, these are very good good mission to make more money. Because the thing is, you want to make money as fast as possible. Because the ship you currently have, the, the side one, there is pretty useless at everything. Yeah, yeah, it can do a bit of everything, but combat and everything is going to be very bad. So. Eventually, you want to move out to that ship here, the Cobra Mark III. This is an amazing, like, the next starting ship you should get. But, as you see, I have only 10k money, and that thing costs way more money than I have. So that's why, like, that 10k is basically nothing. So then, how to reach that amount of money very fast? You could do, as you see now, you could do those missions. And try explore how to do this mission. It's pretty your courier job, which is like the easiest and fastest from what I can see there. Even though this one like have a better payout, if and, and implying you mining and get more equipment to do that and take away more time, and especially if you don't know how to mine, it's gonna take you forever to do. So this courier mission is gonna be easier. What is that conflict training area? Oh, war games, well, 
we want to make money from the start in the game. Oh yeah, you have also this kind of takedown mission, assassination. The payout is amazingly low for because what you need to do is go to a target, find a specific NPC and kill him, and that's the payout you're gonna get for the mission, which is like about the same of the courier mission. And since you're doing combat, there's a big chance that you're not used to it and you're gonna die. Right, so let's have a look at what we can do for money. The basic thing you should think is a resource extraction site. Let's have a look in their current star system. We have here two planets with rings, which is pretty nice. Basically, a resource extraction site is like a spe specific area around planetary rings that we have a mi NPCs mining around, you have police force roaming around, and you also have wanted ship roaming around trying to attack enemies. And you can make a lot of money just by helping the police killing the wanted ship. Well, let's have a look at the navigation. And this is perfect here. Resource extraction site high. Let's see down here. Well, this is the closest one. You see the distance, 279 LS and 657. Uh, so, resource extraction site I is going to be your best bet to make the fastest amount of money. Basically, uh, if you see low right there, it's easier. I, it's harder with like more bigger ship. This is Majum, and you might see Azardus too, depending on the location. And Azardus, you don't go there unless you're very well decked out, a very good ship. The difference is like low and I, you have police force that actually gonna help you killing those NPC, which means you can just leech money out of them. The best way to explain to you is actually showing you from taking that extraction site, log destination. So yeah, threat level is higher than uh, what you are. Maybe too challenging for you. Well, we're gonna see about that. I'm gonna show you properly how to do it, and you're gonna make a lot of money. So we're gonna launch immediately. We need. We don't need any more equipment. Alright, taking up the same way, gonna get faster this time. Give him the boost out. So that's how you're gonna take off when you get used to not using the docking computer. It's way faster. And luckily, our destination we just locked is right in front of us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little time skip until we're about to reach the, the ring. So, see you in a few seconds. Alright, uh, here I am close to the uh, extraction site, so let's go closer. I'm very close, actually. So basically, when you approach it, it's the exact same way as a station. So you go toward the ring, whatever what side you're coming from, just go toward it, blue zone, and then you drop. So basically the same as a station. So there might already be players around, people fighting, but that's good. See? So I see people fighting in front of me, I'm gonna have a little look. I'm gonna have a look. So we're looking for NPC attacking wanted shit, basically. And there's battle here, so... Here is a ship, uh, gonna scan it. He's a wanted ship and he's being attacked, so let's get closer, pull out the weapon, and he's taking damage. Have a look at this ship too real fast. That's a good target. Well, this one is closer to death. So what I can do, just a little tap. Oh, actually I'm too far away, never mind. 
there we go little tap you see turn red for me so by the way just in case you didn't catch it when I target the ship it did a little scanning automatically on the bottom left and like you can see he's tagged clearly in red as wanted and this guy's running away oh never mind then or money run away let's find another wanted ship <clears throat> so usually you just follow the police they're gonna scan shit <clears throat> So the police are there, and they failed to kill that ship. Usually it doesn't happen, but it can. Right. So they are heading toward the ship, which is good. And hopefully they will attack the ship. See, they're starting to attack this wanted ship. Sometimes it can take a while, but sometimes it can be really fast. But this is good because this is an elite for the lens. This is gonna be worth a lot of money. So all to do is wait and wait. You see Schiller going down. He's a clearly wanted ship, the police attacking him. And I'm not attacking him yet. Because if I by mistake attack him too much. There's gonna be a risk of him actually wanted to attack me, and I really don't want that to happen. I'm just following from a relative safe distance. Nobody should attack you unless maybe it's a player, but the starting zone should be fine. Okay, it's getting a big beating. Well, I'm gonna tag him now, just one shot. See, turn red. So that means. I actually fired on him and it registered as a damage. So when he's about to die, I'm gonna shoot him again. There we go. There we go. He's dead. Look in the top right. So we got 282k, just basically doing nothing, which is actually pretty good. So what you do now, well, same thing, you follow the police and wait for them to attack somebody. Seems like they have this guy in target. That could be possible. Oh, let's just pay attention. They're scanning the ship too to see if they're wanted. Will they attack? Oh, they're attacking another one. I'm gonna target it, it's gonna scan it. Scanning, scanning, and it's wanted. Just a piece of warning. Even though you know he's wanted when the po because the police attacking him, you need to be absolutely sure you scan it properly and the, the wanted tag it is appearing for you. If not, it may not, it will not count as a wanted ship you're attacking. I know that's kind of weird, but just be sure you wait until the scanning is done. Apparently, they're attacking two ships. They're attacking these ships too, apparently. And this ship is the one they're more focusing in on. Yeah. So we're gonna follow this one. They seem to be killing this one quickly. So again, just being patient, trying to follow within like, my firing range. Three's trying to stay under 1k. Oh, well, moving fast away, I'm gonna follow. Slowing down. Now, 
suppose your police had a bigger force. They, you know, depending on the uh, on the setting, I mean, police could be powerful or less powerful. Well, I tagged them and he's about to die. It's zero percent, and uh, it's gonna blow up. Well, forty one k. Well, this one is the next target for sure, because all the police force are focusing on him, so it's gonna be my other money source. <clears throat> yeah, we can get closer. That's pretty good. That's going to be the last ship we're doing, and then we're going to show you how to turn these bounty in after this one. Make sure you have some energy to your weapon to be able to shoot, of course. There we go, I've tagged them. Could have went more, but. It's pretty like uh, squishy, so I want to make sure I've tagged him a bit early on in case he die way too fast in a split second. Oh, his shield came back on. Never mind. I just attacked him just again before he died to be sure. 34.9. Right, so let's say you stay there for like about maybe an hour or more. It's gonna be a lot of money. So, staying at the same area all that time. If I go to transaction here, my claims, that's gonna be that much money I'm gonna get. The thing, is, I don't, the thing is, I don't have that money yet. All I need to do is go back to the nearest station. So, to go back to the nearest station, I'm gonna call the system map near the station. Well, apparently, it's already selected. Actually, uh, no, it's not. Well, we know where we're going. Just call the one tab. Here. And the mouse and duck. Spacebar, I just lock target. There we go. Alright, so let's go back. So basically, we're gonna. It's not a mission, what we're doing. But we're technically gonna turn these like it's a mission. Because there is a contact on the, st on the station that's gonna give you a reward for the kills. So, don't wait too long because if you die before turning these in, you're gonna lose your bounty claims. And, uh, well, you're gonna have lost your time. Alright, this one, let's do the first, the full run again. Just to you, help you guys get used to travel. So for now I'm going full speed. It's not very far, but uh, acceleration is slow next to a planet. I'm picking up speed, so I'm gonna get there one day. Alright, I need to slow down. So you see the time went to like 10 seconds ish, so before that you need to slow down. So I slow down and I'm, I'm about the middle of the blue zone again. And as you see I don't, um, don't need to do anything else. The ETA appears zero, zero 006, 6 seconds. So, basically it. Usually I slow down before that. I got distracted. But the point is to not do the, the what we call the loop of shame and turning around your target like a dummy.
The good thing is when you're in the blue like that in the middle and the target time is 6 seconds, the speed of your ship is automatically adjusting to arrive at very good speed. So you don't need to change anything. Nice and steady, and we're about to drop to drop out. Back at the station, and well, luckily we're aligned with the entrance of the station. So let's boost, and of course we're gonna land without a docking computer. This time we're gonna do it faster. So, landing pad 22. Right, here we go. 22, 22, 22. Uh, oh, there it is. Landing gear. Time to slow down. Getting closer to the pad. And full stop. Adjusting the speed to go backward. So I'm pretty much aligned with the dot. Then going down. There we go. Perfect. Now time to turn in. Well, don't forget to refill your ship. Starboard. Alright, so instead of going to mission board, we're going to contact. So any kind of killing you do outside of, of outside of a mission, like, like that, I mean. It's called, uh, well, bounty. It's not a mission. So, and now I have a uh, bounty bound. Let's check the authority contact. There we go. So this guy is happy with what I did. And, uh, well, I could just redeem all my bounty vouchers and now that money is yours as you see the money is yours that's much better so right now actually i can afford ships but the point is you see i just stayed in there and i took the time to show you and everything it just took only a few minutes so imagine to stay here for an hour you can have many millions already and of course, don't try to overdo it. You suggest you just go back to the station and turn them in so you don't, by some kind of weird mistake, lose them. And of course, usually those vouchers are good for the current system you're in. So it's possible that other system around want to give you money for killing people of their group, but uh, usually, if you have a station in your system that's not too far, that's the best case possible, just like here. So well, that's it for this tutorial, it's been pretty long already, so I hope that was helpful for, for anybody. I might do more about mining and uh, other kind of activities, but for now, well, try to enjoy the game and try to stay alive. See ya!